Hey guys, welcome back, Ricky here. Okay, so today I am going to try to sharpen a knife, uh, a knife that's fairly dull. As you guys can see here, it's not gonna cut me at all. And so the question was from a subscriber, is there one stone that you can buy that can sharpen and polish? And well, the question, uh, yes, the answer is yes, you can do that, but you have to choose between having a, a stone that can cut well and not give you a high polish uh, finish. And so don't, there, I don't think of, I, don't, I can't think of any stones that can actually sharpen your knife and give you a high polish, okay? So if that's what you're looking for, um, you're better off getting a combo stone where you can get a 1,000 grit on one side and a 6,000 grit on the other. Um, but if you are willing to forego a stone that has a, a combo stone and go for one stone, uh, the Chorcero 3000 is a really good stone for that because it cuts well. Uh, make it bring a pretty dull knife, uh, you know, a dull edge back to life, such as this one here. And it will give you a, a Kasumi, so a non-glossy finish, okay? So I'll go through the entire sharpening process and stropping process on this one stone. And uh, we'll see how, you know, how you like it and see how sharp the stone, the knife is afterwards. And I'll walk you guys through my sharpening process and the polishing process, okay? So... This is a splash and go, so you don't need to apply any water or any soaking, um, soaking, pre-soaking at all. Uh, I should say apply water. You need water, but no pre-soaking required. Okay. And so the stone's been cleaned from a previous session. And again, the knife is fairly dull, as you guys can see here. It won't cut me at all. And so this is not going to be necessarily a tutorial, though I will talk you guys through what's happening. Um, but I won't walk you through everything as if I'm going through a tutorial, okay? Now that looks like the stone is loading up, but it's not. That's just metal coming off of the stone. I'm mean, coming off of the knife, okay? So don't worry when you see metal coming off so quickly. pass two passes. So, oh, sorry, sorry about that. I was actually talking. I was lifting my hand at the same time. Um, so notice what's happening right now is I'm actually allowing the knife, uh, the curvature of the knife to control the sharpening. Um, because this knife here has a, you know, a pretty rounded belly, so you don't want to, you don't want to do a static sharpen straight. You want to allow the, the edge to, you know, to be rounded uh, and keep that, maintain that uh, circum, that um, that radius there. So I am f allowing my wrist to flex a little bit or to relax and to go with the curvature of the belly. For the top uh, part of the knife, and then as I come down, I can start my straightening, you know, more or less a more uh, straight, a static uh, motion, okay? So now you don't see me trying to, you know, you don't see me doing this with my wrist anymore. So it's more relaxed right now, and just very, just going with what the blade tells me I should do. So that was, I believe that was three passes. And I can probably move on at this point. 
so it's got a very very fine burr I can probably sit one more because this was fairly dull when I uh, started yeah but I'll just I'll just do it just to be safe So I like to move my knife around and get the edges if I can. All right, we're gonna turn this thing around and do the left side. stone's uh, not loading up at all, as you guys can see. You know, it's taking off the very fine material from the knife, but it's not loading up. It's one of the beauties of the Chosera stones. They're just very, very, very well designed. And uh, you have lots of sharpening compound and lots of abrasive, but very little um, uh, bonding agents on the stone. So that was two passes, I believe, and this feels quite good. So I'm just going to go one more, a little quick pass here. Alright, so that is the sharpening portion of of the session. So now we're gonna go through some stropping, okay? And so basically what you do is because we just sharpened on this side, the burr is now folding over here. So you want to now you want to now straighten the burr out. Okay, so the way I do it is I just do these broad strops here. Okay, I'll do about 12, maybe 15, because this is a polishing stone. Okay, so I think that was 15. And so now you can come this way. Um, if this angle is too much, for a lot of folks it is, especially if you're starting off. Okay, coming this way. For me, it's, I mean, it feels very normal to me, but a lot of folks can't get there uh, when they're starting off. So you want to come from here. You want to come from the back side or the bottom of the knife, and that works just as nicely as well. And it's much, much easier on your wrist, and it's easier to hold this angle for a lot of people who are starting out. You make sure you want to get the entire length of the knife or of the cutting edge. Okay, 
So now you reduce that number by two or so. That's a pretty good number. Now go out to 11. I have my dog here with me and uh, there's a squirrel taunting it from outside. So you might hear a growl once in a while. Okay, so now we're going on to nine. Okay. So now we'll go this way. All right, so now we'll go to seven. Five on this side. Go to three. Go to two. Okay, I'll do two a couple times. So now I'll go to one. Okay, again, I like to come from this way because I go from tip, top tip to bottom tip. But nothing wrong with going from bottom tip to top tip, okay? All right, so you do this a few times, uh, maybe four or five times each. Okay, let's go one more. Okay, so now hopefully I have a fairly sharp edge. I think I do. What I'll do now is... Yeah, so there's, there's you can deburr it. If you wanted to run it through a piece of wood, you can. Um, nothing wrong with that. Uh, sometimes that can, um, sometimes that usually helps, okay? But if you're going from a stone that's 3,000 and you're going to polish and strop it, um, that may not be necessary, especially if you, don't, if you don't allow the knife to develop a really big burr. If you do, that's probably good to remove it on a piece of wood. But, um, you know, I was very light on my stropping and sharpening. And so the burr that developed was very, very fine. And by stropping the way, you know, by the final stropping that I was doing, that removed pretty much most of the big burr. And so I'm not worried too much about having to pull uh, the knife on a piece of wood though if you guys prefer that nothing wrong with that okay so let's try the knife off and then let's do a real quick cut test okay sorry all right here we go So this is my infamous paper that I have laying around the house. And you guys can see here, it's sharp, fairly sharp. Here's a bunch of push cuts. 
So feathering push cuts, okay? So these <laughs> So I've got about uh no 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 ten cuts in here. And it's fairly good. Again, this is not the the most uh best way to test the knife, but it's just it's quick enough for me in the studio. And then this is uh Kind of embarrassing. I don't have good newspaper laying around. Okay, so the knife is fairly sharp. Okay, and this is just a really quick. I mean, this is just a really quick uh, session here. I'm not trying to break any records here or trying to, uh, you know, cut sushi. I just wanted to make sh to show you that you can sharpen a knife on one stone and polish okay so this is a really good stone for that again there are other stones out there that can achieve this result as well um, I ju it just so happens that this is a stone that I really enjoy and I've always gotten really good results from the Tracera 3000 so that is it uh, hopefully there's um, hopefully you enjoyed watching the video if you guys are here for this long um, I thank you guys for sitting in and watching the video and uh, yeah, so feel free to drop me a line if you guys have any other questions. If you guys have any requests with other demos that you guys want me to do, I will certainly do that for you. Uh, a lot of the videos on my channel are made based on what people ask me or what people request of me. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys like the video, give the video a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. Hope you guys do. And I'll catch you in the next video.